Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. I'm going to show you how to import one of our planners into the app Notability. Um We do recommend GoodNotes because it just seems to work really well with stickers and planners and all of that type of thing. And I feel like there's a few more options. Um, but if you do have Notability, our planners will work in there. So this is going to be the first page that you open whenever you open Notability. If your pencil is not working, you don't have to like um, verify or sync your pencil with this app. All you have to do is um, if you have the Apple Pencil 2 and the Apple iPad Pro um second or third generation, you just have to connect it up here. If it's a first generation, you can connect it down at the bottom, but just make sure it's connected to your iPad and it should work. Um, if you're wanting to import a planner, you're gonna click on this box with the arrow going down and you're gonna click on files if that's where you have your planner downloaded. And I have a planner right here, it's our menu planner. It's gonna come up with create new note or add to existing note. And I wanna create this as a new planner. So I'm gonna do create new planner and I didn't change any of these files. I just kept everything the same. And then I press import. And then it comes up here. Um, now, a lot of people, whoops, were saying that it was a continuous planner and they didn't like that. They just wanted it to show one page. You can change that by clicking on these um, three dots up here. And you can click on view and then click there's seamless and then there's single page. So this page, I don't know why. This is not the app that I use, so I'm not real, real familiar with it. But instead of it being like that, um, you can change your view and change it to single page. And then you won't be doing that. Okay, so um, to use the links, the links do, do work, but it works a little bit different than GoodNotes. On GoodNotes, you can just click and it goes directly to that link. This one, you have to hit go to page. So after you click a link, you have to hit go to page three. And then... Um, sides and snacks, you have to go to page 18. So you just have to click on that. Okay, so we're gonna move it down to a smaller pin size and then you can choose your colors here. Um, so you can change it to something that works a little bit easier. The eraser kind of tripped me up for a minute. Whoops, I'm not talking to Siri, go away. Um, because whenever you have something written down and then you're trying to erase it, it acted like it was just doing one stroke, but actually whatever you touch there, like I'll show you without lifting up your pen, and then you go to erase this. If you click anywhere on that line, it's gonna erase the whole line. Um, I haven't messed with it to see if there's a different way to change that or not. But now if I do this, it only erased the part that I did not pick my pen up on. Um, so this NG, I wrote that together without picking up my pen, so it actually erased all of that, if that makes sense. Okay, so this little um, cut tool, let's see if we can add a sticker. Um, let's see, we're gonna hit the plus icon and we're going to add from the photo library. Here, let's click on YouTube. Okay, this is one of our stickers. Insert one photo. So it does insert with a clear background. Um, you have crop, you have different options there. You can change the size. It actually has a little turn. So you can actually turn your sticker different ways. So that's neat. Um, you can do whatever size. So like say he was a picture of food that I'm eating. <laughs> you can make him bigger and put him in this spot here. So pretty easy to do that. And then you could just write on this. Of course, this is not what we're eating today, but <laughs> anyway, it's pretty easy. And then let's say I want to move this. Um, okay, so it's a little bit different than good notes. Okay, you just click it. Whoops, now I'm writing on stuff. I'm gonna click back on this little finger and then you can't click on him. So let's click back on the scissors. Okay, and then you can. So if you're clicked on the scissors up here, you can move the sloth, okay? And resize him or um, change all of that. I don't know what these little lines are here for. So if you know what that is, put that in the comments below. <laughs> um, but pretty easy, you can add stickers, you can change the size of it, you can write, you can type, you can erase, except the erasing is a little bit um, fickle. I'm not really happy with the erasing. There may be an easier way um, to do that. Okay, so say we wanna move our text around. That's really easy to do. Um, you can change these boxes here 
and move it around. Let's see. I don't really like how I can't see my writing whenever my keypad is up. So I would almost set this up. If I was using this, I would set this up to where I could use my keyboard. But I know I need a smaller size font. So let's change that. Um, let's see here. Okay, select all. I'm going to bring this down to like an 8. That way it fit in there a little bit better. I hate that every time that I click on that, it was bringing up the... Okay, so you can change this. And I'm assuming that if you're on this, this must be just for the tabs, the little hand. So if you're on any of these other icons, you should be able to actually select things. Um, and you just have to click them. You don't have to lasso anything. I don't know how the text, yes, okay, so the text works like good notes in that aspect. If you need to move your text or your handwriting, not your text, your handwriting around, um, you can do that. It doesn't look like you can like I wrote this at an angle and it doesn't look like I can like change that. So um, that's really cool. It can convert to text what you wrote. So that's really neat. It could read my handwriting and it converted that to text. So that's really cool. All right, so we covered texting or putting text in. We covered adding in images and changing the sizes, using the eraser tool, using the hyperlinks and making it single pages. And then um, your text to, um, or your writing to text and then circling things. So hopefully that helps you. Our planners are definitely, they definitely will work in this. It just is a little bit different than GoodNotes. If you're used to using, um, Notability, I think that this would be great because you're used to all the functionality that you have in there. You probably have your uh, color set and all that good stuff. So hopefully this helped you all. If you have any other questions, please post them down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we will be bringing more content your way. Thanks for watching.